No big, I feel like Pac. I shoot the shot. I'm coming in hot. Welcome to Premium Time with John Dar and Charlie Delatore. Hey, what was that? It's like I'm trying my new Hello radio and welcome. podcast voice. Bro, these lights are Woo, kicking today. Intense today, man. On wow. June 22nd, 2021. It is the, the day lights after the summer solstice. Kicking. Yesterday fell long, didn't it? Like yeah. maybe the longest day of the year. Was it? Well, that was kind of a bad joke, but like technically. Oh, I don't know. Long- what do you see? You try the technically it was the longest day of the year. It was summer solstice. <laughs> Seemed like a long day. Oh, I have a scary movie for you to watch on the summer solstice if you wanted to. It's Still called- haven't watched the Goonies. It's called <laughs> Did that caught a lot of attention, by the way. It did. did. I had lots little- of comments like people saying You like, do look like the Goonie guy in do- the Goonie <laughs> movies. Uh Midsummer <laughs> is a horror movie you should watch. Have you seen that movie, Elio? Uh, no. Midsummer? Oh, uh, man. It's scary. I it's only have one problem. Based. It's a horror movie, and it's only in the daytime. Yeah. Pretty crazy. So there's, like, zero chance that I will watch that. <laughs> I know. If you won't watch the goodies, again, <laughs> why am I so oily? Why is my the light I need, is like, st- where's Kara when I need Whoa. her? Whoa. So my wife does not like scary movies. Really? And I, I rarely, I mean, she's the only person on the planet I'll watch a movie with. You don't like your kids? And she, they don't even they don't want to watch, watch movie movies with you. anymore. What? They look at their phone. They're like, they, they're attached to the phone. Attached to the phone. Okay, okay. So they so, don't watch movies. So Holly much. and so she Holly's like the only movies. person you watch movies with. Pretty much. And but she, she doesn't, doesn't like, like horror movies. No. We watched The Bachelor last night. That was exciting. You know, there are a few things in my life that I am. There's only a few things that I am proud of. Yeah. One of those is is that I have never watch an episode of The Bachelor. And I love bad TV, and I'm holding to that for as long as I can. Do you accept this eclair? I, <laughs> what is that for? Well, it's National Eclair oh. Day. <laughs> Chocolate Eclair Day. And you've yes, won a package eclair. of fresh New York style, which I don't know why New Are York style. Are we having style. one of these? I'm eating yeah, one of these. One. I brought them for us to eat. It's National Eclair Day. And Wait, Elio, did you get an eclair? He's on a diet. He said he worked out, and (laughs) he's not doing it. He said he's been going to the gym since yesterday. Keep it away from me. Get them (laughs) away from me. It's it's the voice of God. Am I going to eat this while on? Yeah. He said he's been working out. Oh, look, I while he's eating. Yeah. 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 That doesn't suck. (laughs) So he's been working out, and he says he feels his shirt is tight, and his muscles are getting big. He's like two days in a row. He's been working out. You know what feels tight on me? (laughs) Right in this, like this button, that button, and this button, and this button. You can't see because they got the John Dar thing there. But I think maybe the shirt's just maybe this. The shirt's these shrunk. three buttons are just screaming tight. I think the shirt's shrunk. shrunk. <laughs> also, this is delicious, dude. Yeah, these are fantastic. Well, I bought them just for you. It's National Chocolate. It's National Chocolate Eclair Day. Which really is that? Uh, now, mean, does a chocolate when's eclair vanilla the chocolate eclair. thing on the top, or is that the filling know. in the middle? What's the middle? It's like a Cream, cream, like a. Oh no, it's, it's pretty damn all good. Over dude. We got it's no napkins. dripping all over. It's me. awesome. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna lick off. It's also National Onion Rings Day, and I was. Do we have onion rings too? No. Oh damn! <laughs> if it could have been National <laughs> Beer Day, we could have had a whole it's, day. It's technically only nine thirty in the morning, mm. so I figured if I'm gonna bring something, I, you know, I have to underachieve. Sometimes. So I'm so, like, okay. Sometimes. Chocolate Eclair or National Onion Rings Day. I have to underachieve sometimes. Or National HVAC Tech Day. Could, well, that would have been Thank a good Thank God the guess. AC's working in here. That would have sucked to be like, ah, I broke the AC. Right. Just for it's National just for, Tech uh, Bring this National Tech, tech day. day. So. Man. No, really good, John. Congrats to all the national or the HVAC techs. I feel like I got chocolate all over me. Elio, these are pretty good. I know you're. Trying to be good, but keep it away from me. 
we're we're going to leave some of these because our friends Della and Lisa come in after this. I was a guest podcast. on their podcast. I last heard, week. and all we talked about was how fat I am, and here I am eating eclairs. Yeah, wait till I go on that podcast. <laughs> they're they're going to yeah. be like, I thought Whoa. it. Might I'm not going to lie. There was a moment where I felt like it might, it might be an intervention. He, not only is we'd he like to send you to a fat farm. Fat. We have a sponsor. Tall. <laughs> Yeah, mix in a salad every once in a while, Charlie. Yeah, What's the advice? How do you feel about leafy greens? <laughs> uh, so, Sorry. positive quote of the mm. day is: "Finish each day and be done with it. You have done what you could." Oh, Ralph Waldo. There better be an Emerson at the end of that. There's not. I, is it just Ralph Waldo? I, I don't know. <laughs> what if an there is a name, if there is somebody out there named Ralph Waldo. <laughs> John, I feel like <laughs> then maybe, we got to do a little more research. Maybe that was Waldo Road who said that. Well, maybe the guy, the guy that invented Waldo Road. Road. <laughs> you want? Okay, I got a funny story. Okay, I got a funny story. Really? Yeah. Uh, so, a buddy of mine said that he uh, was at at dinner one time with the Gator basketball team. Okay. Right, and like they were all with them having dinner. Them? Yeah. Okay. They were having dinner one night, and okay. and the. Uh, uh, one of the guests at this dinner was a guy named Gail Lemerand. Who, okay, who kind of a big name? There's this, you know, he's a he donated a lot of money to UF. Of course, uh, there, there's a there's a there's he changed a, he changed the name of the road. There's a road there, right? <laughs> North South Drive. So anyway, they're having dinner and they introduce he introduced himself to one of the basketball players. Okay, and the response of the basketball player was, man. They, your mama named you after a road. <laughs> no. <laughs> swear to God. Swear. Oh, swear to God. That's pretty good, actually. So, it, yeah. So, anyway, I thought that was funny. Did somebody let that kid know? They did educate this kid and say, no, no, no. And their road <laughs> they was really named road after, after him. him when dude. you donate millions of dollars, <laughs> uh, you get a road named after you. Not does it suck? Do you still call it North South Drive? Because I do. I do, yeah. I yeah. Okay. Poor Gail Limerand. Gail Limerand, but. Yep. Anyway, they named her. They should have named something else. All right, we're going to do the guaranteed lifetime income story of the week. So we're this is a new segment. We don't have a bumper for that, right, Elio? No, no, we don't have a bumper. For no, because maybe we, we this, will one. We day. make this crap up as we go along. That's right. Maybe we will one day have <laughs> Elio, a Elio. Here are the new sections for the week. Well, I guess the fi- there, do the financial do the fi- do the financial oh, the- bumper. <laughs> don't, don't you do the? Don't you have the uh, financial bumper? All right. Oh, there oh. we go. World financial. This is awesome. That's All pretty right. cool. Only actually. the best. Global so a 65-year-old male is determined that he needs $5,000 a month for the rest of his life, and he doesn't want to worry about what the stock market does or does not return, as mm-hmm. most of you know, the stock market's going like this right mm-hmm. now. But um, He wants to live the rest of his life with as little stress as possible. How much would he need to invest in order to get a guaranteed lifetime income of Five thousand dollars a month. Hey, is he ever going to touch the principal? Nope. Oh, only just, off. He just is going to get the five thousand dollars a month sent to him every month for the rest of his life. Oh, but he doesn't ever want to touch that. And he money. doesn't want to touch the principal. He just wants the income guaranteed. I, that's. I mean, that's sixty grand a year. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Yeah. Million and a half bucks? Close. One million thirty eight thousand oh. two hundred and twenty nine dollars. Well, that's actually a pretty good rate of return on that. That's a exactly. That's really good. Yeah. That's like six percent. So if we can guaranteed. save up a million bucks before we're sixty five, and that's a long way for some of us and some it's not so it's a little long. closer for it's you. A little closer <laughs> for, me. for me. So I need to start ramping it up. If we save up a little over a million bucks, we can turn that into five grand a month. In income for the rest of our life. Oh boy, what there if you, you need go. more well, than that? <laughs> well, you need to save more. <laughs> no, then I and need to stop I spending money no, on eclairs. Crap for my, I didn't buy the eclairs. <laughs> I'm just enjoying them. I may not don't, want to eat them because I'll never make it to 65. Don't spend d- money. Don't buy two packages of eclairs. <laughs> just buy one. Just buy one. Let this be a eclairs. lesson, okay? Just yeah. buy one pack I, of eclairs. I haven't even eaten one yet. I'm so excited. To eat yeah, one. but if I, then I'm going to leave that million bucks to who? My kids. Well, I don't like them that much. Well, they probably don't like you that much either. <laughs> All right, I do like them. So, 
Yeah, so you would leave the money. The balance would go to your. So this is in another. Uh, this is an annuity. Yes, sort of this is guaranteed right? life. Yes, guaranteed lifetime income annuity. Damn. This is going to spill, and boy. And what happens to that money? I highlight of the show right there. It's it's, it's super woo, wobbly and full. Woo. Drink yeah. some of that, dude. It's gonna it's gonna, yeah. And then again, like you said last year or last <sighs> week, if you live only ten years yep. and you only get six hundred thousand of that, your kids would get the balance. So if you only live one month, right, they'd get the difference. They'd get the difference of a million. Why well, you gotta well, you gotta kill me off like that? Three it's a month. Thousand. <laughs> Just saying. That's a lot. Okay, that's cool. And so, you do this, of course. You sell these. I do. Okay, sweet. All right, let's do the music cr- break dancing bumper because <laughs> we got big news on the Sister Hazel Live Music Update. <laughs> do we? Not really, but. <laughs> Also, I had, like, my eye decided to start freaking out in the middle of this. It must have been the, the flashing lights. <laughs> my contact lens. I don't know. It's probably a work comp injury. I think it's a worker's comp. It's, I wonder if Elio has worker's comp. Could I get injured here? He does, not that I know of. He what? does not. But we wouldn't place. be covered I'm anyway. going to slip and fall here in a minute. That he does. What? He does have that. <laughs> Whatever happened, we have the umbrella, baby. Yeah. <laughs> no. Whatever happens at the Fiesta Media stays at the Fiesta Media. So wait, Media. do we really have big news for the Sister Hazel update, mm-hmm. or is it big news about my band? Mm-mm. Oh, what is it? Whiskey Jones is oh. at one bug. <laughs> we did. We played Saturday night. Saturday night. At, we did play this past weekend at Great Outdoors. It moved or something. What happened there? It did get moved. It was going to be at Pink Flamingos, but it was there was a bit of a, a communication error. It's okay. You guys don't have the vaccine or something? What happened? <laughs> no. I don't really know what happened. The the the, uh, the booking agent that we use, I, it was a miscommunication on my part, actually. So I thought we were originally booked for Pink Flamingo. It was great outdoors. We will be at Pink Flamingo at some time in the future, but that, I know, dude, it's good. That is really good. I told you. It's fantastic. It's straight butter on the inside, I think. No, it's like, like a some cream. Sort it's, of like whip. A, it's like a whipped cream of some kind, but yeah, it's delicious. And then we do play this Saturday at One Love from 6 to 9. So come on out. Hopefully it'll be a nice, it was a really nice night actually, Saturday night. It had been raining pretty much the entire week, but Saturday was beautiful and it didn't rain. It was really nice. It was a little muggy, but not bad at all. Should be really nice this Saturday as well. So all right. well, come, come on out, out check it out. You. Yeah, you should come. Any new songs that we need to know about? Uh, American no, Pie? No, but we have committed to practicing American this summer. Pie? We're not playing American Pie. What? We did, we did, on, I mean, we have about, we have about 50, 55 songs we kind of rotate through and we play mm-hmm. about 30 at any one show. So, but we need to add, honestly, we need to add a, we, that was the topic of conversation this past week. So we need more music. So if you have any suggestions, put a comment American down below. Pie. Let us know. American Pie is not going to be one of them. I'll tell you that. Africa. Okay. Long, By Toto? Time oh, ago. yeah. You're going to play drums on that thing? Let's I do remember it. Okay. when. Ooh, I'm going to hold them to that, dude. Used to make me cry. <laughs> no, no American and Pie. I knew that I. Elio, can you mute Had him? my chance work? that I could make those people dance, <laughs> and maybe we could <laughs> something for a while. I I like the Weird Al version way better. Fib, Weird Al version of American Pie? Yeah. I've never even heard of that. So bye-bye, Mr. Anakin guy. Mr. what? Mr. Anakin, like Anakin Skywalker. You've really never heard the Weird Al version of that? I'm not a... Oh, my God, a, it's amazing. I'm a chocolate eclair guy. I don't remember the words, though. It's uh, Oh, my son's going to be just so disappointed. I went to a Weird Al concert. Of course you in did. In Jacksonville. It was amazing. He was, a, he was fantastic. I've amazing. heard he was actually very he good. He was amazing. I'm I, not going to lie. I've heard that. It was uh, I've incredible. Heard that. Yeah. I don't, I don't I remember know. the words. Bye-bye, Mr. Anakin guy. Uh, I can't. Drove a Chevy no, to that's the, levy, the wrong song. The anyway, so dry. there's your live music update. Good Mr. Joe's playing this Saturday night. American Pie will life. not be one of them. Neither will Singing. the Weird Al song. This will be the day that... <laughs> <Whatever. Jesus. laughs> Alright, All right. I don't know any other live music updates. I don't have the Our Town magazine to, in front of me. There's a lot of a great venues in town. In front Obviously, of me. you can check us out online and, and on the calendar and see some live music places in town, but lots of good places playing music now, especially now that the weather's Warmer and we're outside, and mm-hmm. you, know, you got to dodge the rain, but there's plenty of places around town. Celebration Point. Yep. Tioga. Great Outdoors. Yep. Tioga. One Love. Mothers. There's so a bunch check of it out. I love live music. Yeah, man. 
All right, I'm going to do a new segment <clears throat> here. We're going Good, to I'm talk about this. a yeah, this is amazing. Keep this going. is we're going to talk about a DSI team member recognition. So I have a wonderful team of let's just call it north of 50ish people on my team. And mm. I thought it would be cool if I took a little bit of time to recognize each one of my team members over the next 52 weeks um, and uh, hopefully they appreciate this. I don't nice. Know. <laughs> I don't know. You're if planning they, on picking one a week. I think. I think the sign of a great leader is is the ability and and opportunity to recognize his or her people. Mm. And I am the definition of a great leader. A great leader when it comes to <laughs> humble. Uh, well done. When it comes to hiring amazing people <laughs> and getting out of their way. Oh. That's right. what I was trying to get out. So I wanted to recognize somebody today. So who are we talking about? I want to recognize Heather McCulley. So Heather McCulley has been with, uh, she's an agent. She's an associate agent at Darshak Al. And she's been with me for 22 years. What? Yeah. What? So we get around that she started out, you know, when she was like 12. Well, she did start out when she was probably way underage and should not have been working and, oh great! <laughs> um, <go>. Twenty. <laughs> now, this segment's going bad from the very beginning. You just what? admitted to some sort of felonious work. Well, no, she was she was young. Let's just say she was young and you know filing, and she started out, and she has worked her way up into an amazing agent. Awesome. And, and has been with me for twenty two years. So I want to recognize her. Let's talk a little bit about our family. Her family. She's married to Colby. Has been married to Colby for thirteen years. She has a daughter named Hayden, who is cute as a, oh my gosh, adorable. Nice. And Parker, uh, Hayden is 10, and Parker is 6, and they have a Yorkie named Cooper. Um, her hobbies include out, anything outdoors. She likes swimming. She likes tennis, mm. biking, uh, laying by the pool. She loves all, anything outside. Uh, okay. That kind of thing is her hobby. Her favorite food is barbecue. Oh, I love Oh, I'm going to have to hang out with Heather. This is going to be fun. She loves barbecue. Okay. She loves the gator tailgate mm. barbecue stuff going on that we, we've done. I love that. She does her own, but that's, oh, my God, this chocolate's everywhere. Great. <laughs> um, she was born in Florida and um, has, and, and, and her, I asked her what her interesting fact was. And About she herself? says, look, oh. yeah, she says, I don't have an interesting fact. All I can tell you is that I love to travel. Oh. So I said, hey, that's. Good enough. For I wonder me, so. what's the furthest place Heather's ever gone to. It's a good question. Well, if you watch this, Heather, which she may not be because <laughs> she works really hard, um, tell us where the furthest place you've traveled to and what your favorite trip is. So good for Heather. That's um, awesome. Anyway, I want to recognize her. Thank you so much for being part of the DSI team. In Twenty-two years, man. Twenty-two. Wow, years. that's fantastic. Awesome. Hey, what's the Amazing. furthest you've ever traveled? I've been to uh, France. To France, France. I've been to uh, Hawaii. Ooh. You mean French? I've been to. I've been French. to French. I've been to I've French. I've been to Alaska. I think Hawaii's further. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Man, Hawaii is in the middle of nowhere, dude. I caddied in a golf tournament for a friend of mine that played in an LPGA tour event one time. I've been to Hawaii in Hawaii a couple times, but yeah. What part of Hawaii? In Hawaii, the Big Island, oh, Oahu. Thing? Yeah. Big Island. I loved Hawaii when I went. Loved Hawaii's it. beautiful. Loved it. Maui. That's where I Maui. was. We were in Maui the whole time, and it's the only place that I've ever really been to where I thought, like on the flight home, I was, maybe I'll just sell everything I have. And, sell it all and move to and, Hawaii. And like, yeah, I loved it, man. I really liked it there a lot. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't afford anything. I'd be selling like melons on the beach. Right. Time, but like, <laughs> it was pineapple. From the it was... It was expensive. That's yeah. what do, so, I do remember. It was expensive. And by melons, I mean Maui Wowie. So let's. Oh, this. hey, all right then. Is it legal there yet? I'm, I don't know, but I mean, I don't live there. You would and sell I'm it. not doing that. Would I sell it? If it was legal. And I needed a job? This is a good one. And I could See, live in Hawaii? Good. This oh. is getting interesting. Would I sell it? Wait, is I'm in no legal peril? No, you're not, I'm not asking you, would you do something illegal? Would oh. you, if you, if you had the opportunity to open a dispensary? Would you do it <sighs> legally? I would do any business that's legal. So yes, I'm going to say yes. To Good that. answer. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, a hot yes. Sure, why not? I know nothing about marijuana, so I would be the worst dispensary 
guy. I, neither do I, but I mean, we'd find people. You know, are they run, run a insurance, business? A business but is Heather, business. But Heather McCauley's been saving your ass for 22 I, years. Hey, I agree. So, Just hire people that know <laughs> weed. Hire a bunch of stoners and you'll be in good shape. Make sure you count the money at the end of the night. You'll be all right. You know how to count. I do. Yep. So that's good. I do. You're fine. Um, I don't know what's further, Hawaii or Alaska. I would say maybe Hawaii. Alaska's pretty far I away. I think Hawaii is further west. Yeah. Well, but further west for sure. But, but I don't know. I went to India. That's a good question. I went to India. India. Yeah, that's the furthest I've, I that's was. That's all the way Dude, that was, around the world. I was so, the flight was so long that like I got on the plane. I watched a couple of movies. I ate dinner. I took an entire eight hour sleep. <laughs> <laughs> like a full night's sleep. And got I up. woke up, had breakfast, watched two more movies, and I still wasn't there. Like I, it took, it was like 17 hours. And you got to wonder how the planes, I mean, how, I about, this. how do you have that much fuel? I don't know. I thought this. What's really crazy is it went. We went. You know. I flew from Gainesville to Newark, and then Newark over like the polar cap and stuff over Russia and down into to India. The, you oh. didn't go around. You went. Oh, I went over. Shorter. And down. So I went over like Afghanistan and Russia and. Yeah, because you get up there hovering as the ball's spinning. <laughs> yeah, you just sit there and then you wait for the mm. ball to turn. Yes, that's how that works. Yep. That's how that works. <laughs> It was a long trip, dude. That was a. I gotta tell you about that one day. I can't really say it on air. We'll have on the show. Oh, okay. off air. Off oh, the I'll show. be happy to tell the parts that I can tell. But <clears throat> all right, you want to talk about the Our Town Senior Times article of the week? While I, do. I eat my yummy Leclerc. I do. Leclerc. <laughs> my your, your, Eclair. Dude, your chocolate is all Eclair. over your fingers too. It's, it's disgusting. Yeah. Uh, actually, I want to talk and encourage our listeners to let us know what they would like to see us write about. So. Most of what we write about in the magazine does not come from our ideas. Mm-mm. It comes from working within the community and working with our writers about what's happening in the community. And a lot of those ideas come from our readers. And so oftentimes we ask, we'll ask our readers and we'll ask people that we know, like whatever you're interested in in your life, whatever group you're a part of, whatever organizations you belong to, whatever things that you do in your community that you think are interesting and important, those are the sorts of timely, pertinent, and relevant pieces of information we want to write about. So don't hesitate to send us an email and say, hey, I belong to this chess club and we do blah, 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 blah. We want to know about that stuff because we have our themes that we plan for and it might be a cool piece to add. We've written just about on just about you know every topic we can think of. So a lot of great ideas come from our readers. So if you think of something, email me at info at towerpublications.com info at towerpublications.com. Let us know what you're involved in, what interests you, what clubs are in town, what groups are in town that are important to you. And we might be able to add it to our next editorial list. So I wanted to encourage our listeners to do that. And you too. I have an idea. Is this a real idea? Yeah. I'm writing this down. All right. I would like to have a section about uh, an article written yes. about premium time with John Dar. <laughs> Okay, I'll put it on the list. I gotta get back to you on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what would be a cool story? What? About all the podcast community that's in town. I mean, Who cares about all the rest of the podcast? <laughs> I care about, about the, the Fiesta re- Media and Premium Listen, time I'll sell you some space with okay? John Dar. We well, can... that's fine. I, we don't have much of a budget here. We have no advertisers. One dollar. I will tell you this. I, this is uh, God's honest truth. I was at an insurance convention. I was at an insurance agent's convention this, this past week. That sounds like a ball. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was fun. Jeez. So I was walking through this convention hall, and I had no fewer than 10 people come up to me and say, Hey, love your podcast. Watch your podcast. Really? I swear to you. I was just as surprised as you were. So... Elio, Did you are right, man. People are watching this thing. Here, here, media here you effect, go, baby. Elio. It's I've got crazy. I got questions. I was. Supp- Did I was, any of them say, "Dude, that producer is fire"? Who is that guy? No, they they yeah they said we love the production. It's very it's very well done. The only thing they did say was who who are you with? Who's the guy? Who's the other guy that you're with? What is what is his well, who's you that old like? Man? What is he there for? What's that guy about? <laughs> Uh, I'm paying off a debt. I don't know. What am I going to say? I can't. I don't know what to tell you. I, uh, what do you think I told him? <laughs> You're like, I don't know who he is. He, <laughs> he came the up. first week and he's coming back every week. He won't go away. I just don't know what to tell you. 
Ah, ah. That's the media, the media, the Fiesta Media effect, baby. The Fiesta <laughs> Media great, though, effect. Well, the chocolate eclair effect on my midsection. <laughs> so you that the uh, the you're be a bit the of a rock star. Thing. It's gonna this blow insurance up. thing. It was it was very interesting. I I will I will tell you, my partner Ray Shackow was walking with me, and he like every time somebody came up to me and said, "Oh, I love, you know, watch your podcast, love it." He's like. Oh God! Your head is getting bigger as just as we speak. It's larger. Your head's already large, yeah. so it's getting larger and larger. And he was well. That's awesome. Deflating my head, John. I have to. I have to be. I have to. The idea of going to an insurance seminar sounds terrible. I'm not gonna lie. I loved it you, because you were like lauded for your personality and I love. And I podcast, love. But do I you love like, it. You love no. going to that? Oh, I, I could go to that. All day? Four times a year. What? <laughs> yeah. But matter of fact, I do. Four <laughs> times a year. I, I love going. It's a great, yes. It, I understand. It's the, Nobody wants to talk about insurance except for insurance people. Ladies and gentlemen, we have actuarial tables in room four. Actuarial tables in room four. The updated tables, room four. It'll be cutting edge. How yeah. about live your life insurance in 104? Uh, <laughs> It'll be starting in seven minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yeah, hey, well. <laughs> Sorry. It is. Listen, a publisher's thing can't be much better. That's got to sound boring as hell. No, I think they're, I think, I love that. I mean, I am such an extrovert. I, I read an article one time about how an introvert, if they go to a networking event like that, when they walk out, they are they are exhausted. Like yes. an introvert is just just completely exhausted. Right. Right? But you you are re-energized by that. I could go to those things for literally four hours goes by like this. Yeah, and I walk out like, ah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I feel the same way, dude. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, so I, I yeah I know it's, it's so it's, weird. It's crazy. How Some it people works. just like literally they're dragging themselves to the event I know. to do it. They don't want to do it. They don't want to do it. No, I know, and I love it. So anyway, let's talk golf. Let's talk golf. So, Spaniard John Rahm wins the United States Open at Torrey Pines. God, I got to sit straight I know, up. I Otherwise, sucks. my fat. You know, when, when he has that bar across the bottom, it works much better. Yeah. There oh, you there go. you go. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Good job. Thank Spaniard you. John Rahm comes from behind to win the U.S. Open at Torrey Pines. Uh, he is, it's his first major, and they expect him to win. A lot more majors. Do you remember we just talked about this guy? Yes, we did. For the COVID, he, he was winning by like six strokes, right? And then... What tournament was that? Memorial. The Memorial Tournament. That's yeah. before the U.S. Open, right? That's Jack's tournament in Columbus, Ohio. Yeah. Okay, got it. Uh, Jack, like you know the guy. He's your buddy. <laughs> I gotta go. Oh, Jack right. Nicolaus. Oh, Jack. My boy, Jack. Here, let me call him. Jackie. Hey, 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 hey bud, Jack. what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> How's the Memorial? Good, good. Great. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome for him, though, right? It is awesome for him, yes. He, well, and he won it in dramatic fashion. He you got me behind. watching this crap, dude. Yeah, he, I love it. Back-to-back -back birdies, right? Oh, yep. 17 and 18. 17 18, birdie 17 18. Amazing, amazing finish wins. He had a little baby that's I saw a little, a little boy that's, that's less than a, a month old, probably, something so like great. that. And so it's great. Father's Day. He won, and he, you know, he and Phil Mickelson are very good buddies. Oh, good. So, also... Uh, Elio, let me ask you a question. Hop back on this thing. Look at that. This guy's a Spaniard, but what's his last name in Spanish? Uh, Ram? Which guy? John Ram. John R A H M. R A H M. How would you say that in Spanish? Como se dice eso? H. R A H M. Ram. Ram, yeah. Ram. Have you ever heard of that last name? Ram, like. Ram. Ram. No, not R U M. R A H M. R A H M. What are you trying to say? Is it German or something? Rach. It Rach. just doesn't feel French. Spanish and all. Doesn't spill. I don't right. think. I don't think it's just Spanish. But he is from. He's a Spaniard. It may be J O N too. I don't know. But I he is definitely from Spain. When I saw the name, I was like, <clears throat> I just. I thought that was. I don't know. I didn't know how to say that. So there you go. There you go. All Golf right. News. All right. It's time for the IT Pro TV tip of the week. This week's tip is: don't leave your computer unattended. Do you know that the physical security of your devices is just as important as their technical security? This is especially important mm -hmm. when you are in public space. If you need to leave your laptop, phone, or tablet for any length of time, lock it up so no one else can access it. If you use a flash drive or external drive, make sure it's encrypted and locked up as well. 
For desktop computers, lock your screen or shut down the system when not in use. Use without this layer of security. Anyone walking by has access to your system. Thanks to our friends at IT Pro TV for that tech tip. If you know someone who is looking for a career in technology or if your business needs to upskill the IT team, IT Pro TV is your resource. They have nearly 6,000 hours of IT training that you'll actually enjoy watching. Visit itpro.tv and use premium time to save your 30% off your personal membership. That's itpro.tv with code premium time. Bourbon raffle, we still getting to 1,000 people? Getting there, man. We're getting close. We've got a week left. Next, uh, let's see. 1,500 or 1,000? 1,500 tickets. Yep. We're, we're uh, Next Wednesday, I think, is the last day, June 30th. And yep. then they draw the winner on July the 1st. So plenty of time to get your ticket. It's HSNCF Bourbon, Humane Society of North Central Florida, bourbon.com. Com. So. Buy your tickets, $100 a ticket. You can buy as many tickets as you'd like. Great gifts. And Great. I hope you're rooting for me to win. Because if we do, we're doing. You need doing to increase them, your the uh, odds of you winning. You awesome gotta buy more tickets. Tasting party. You do? Yeah. Okay, I'll go buy some more tickets. Yeah, that was easy. All right, insurance tip of the week: employee retention and recruiting is a hot topic. Employee benefits are a must mm. in today's time. So, not only do we sell annuities, we also can help you with employee benefits. So, call me. Super important these days. Super important. You're, people are going to leave if you don't give them benefits. Yeah, of course. So you have benefits. I know you do. Yes, we do yeah. through you. Yeah. And your girl, Terry. He's the best. All right. A- anything else? I don't think so. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Remember to like on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. What else are we on, Elio? All over the world. Oh, and it's, hold on. It is my re- all over the world. It's my responsibility, and I will declare on this the end of this podcast that I will learn how to extract the audio and upload this so that people can listen to this on Apple Podcasts. I will work on that. All right, you heard it there, folks. So my Let's commitment by next week, hold starting him accountable. in the month of July, we will be able to do this. Hold him accountable. We my all love that. My responsibility. Yep. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Go out and get you some eclairs. Because <laughs> it's National Eclair Day. They're, that one's really good. Those are great. Thanks, bud.